the biological and chemical weapons, that's your issue. How are you going to treat that? Uh, just rapid reaction forces, uh, better awareness for countries, how to react to a biological chemical scare. Detection. Detection, better equipment to deal with it. Yeah, Model UN is basically uh, an academic game in which students talk about current events, world affairs. They simulate the various international organizations that discuss these issues. Different students from separate schools come together at, um, at these debates and they represent countries such as China, the United States, um, Syria, Lebanon, and they take those countries' positions and they work in the same forum and the same rules as the real United Nations. The main purpose of it is to pass resolutions, which are basically solutions to different world problems. You mentioned the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization, the, the, international, the bank, I mean, you, you mentioned all these special agencies. Excellent idea. Uh, we send it in a list of what countries we want in China was on the top of that list. It's tough representing a superpower because there's so many little foreign policy details you have to have down pat and they felt that we represented that really well. So when we applied and China was our number one on our list, they felt that, you know, they wanted to see another good debate again and they felt that we could best represent the Chinese policy this year. We personally feel that they're the most outrageous demands ever presented. In, a, in the history of these type of situations, like, what does your country feel that we should, uh, the next step should be? Uh, we've been undefeated for the past uh, two years, I believe uh, 29 debates in a row. Uh, we've gone undefeated. Uh, we won at New York the last two years in a row. Uh, we're also the first team to ever win back-to-back -back world titles. Um, we did, you know, which we did uh, last year and the year before that. Well, actually, there were two no votes cast by Iran and the United States, but they were the only two no votes. The rest of the council unanimously voted yes on this topic. What was the cut topic? It was an attack on, it was an attack in the Middle East. All right. And it was, we, what our resolution stated was that we had spoken about, like, relief, and they had voted no for it. All right. It's a really great experience because uh, it makes you more worldly to affairs, you know, when you turn on the news, you only see one side of the story, but when you're debating and you're actually doing research on the topics, you are more educated about the topics that you hear about all the time on the news. I mean, I came in to judge as a freshman, not really knowing anything about politics, and you know, now I'm coming out and I'm going to Seton Hall, and I'm going to be that you know, major in international relations and diplomacy. And I think a lot of that really has to do with you know, everything that Fowler Hurley's told us and everything from the debates. The fact that you meet these students as freshmen in high school, with practically no background in international relations. You become knowledgeable about world affairs. You learn about the art of diplomacy, and, and that includes treating people with respect and learning how to deal with people, negotiate with people, learning about the problems of our world, and hopefully trying to make the world a better place. Third gavel goes to China.